Hello guys, welcome you to another video of the day. Uh, in this video, Prophet Lovi Elias was responding to people who criticized him for making dreadlocks and for putting tattoo on his body. And he used the scriptures to defend himself. So let's go straight to this video as we listen to what he said about tattoos. He said about dreadlocks. So if you are new, please don't forget to show us love by subscribing, by liking and sharing this video. God bless you. See you after the video. God bless you all. This is Prophet Lovi and... Um... You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking and I want to address everybody that I've offended with my tattoos, with my dreadlocks, and I want to apologize to absolutely nobody. Many of you like to quote scripture out of context to justify your religious beliefs and that's not going to work with me. You see, I was not chosen by men. So what you think about me doesn't matter. As long as I'm pleasing Jesus, uh, you don't really matter to me. And if you don't want to listen to me, you don't have to. I know for a fact that God did not send me to you. Let's examine the scripture that every one of you loves to read. Leviticus 19, I think 28. Yeah. But let's start from verse 23 to just show you how all of you who love to quote this are actually the sinners sinning and offending God because you're using your religious belief, taking scripture out of context to justify your own um, religiousness and what you believe. Uh, can you read it for me, please? Leviticus 19 from verse 23. Leviticus 19, and I'll read from 23. Uh -huh. And when you shall come into the land. And when you shall come into the land. And shall have planted all manner of trees for food. When you have planted all trees for food. Then you shall count the fruit thereof as mm. uncircumcised mm -hmm. three years shall it be as uncircumcised unto you mm -hmm. it shall not be eaten of mm -hmm. but in the fourth year all the fruit thereof shall be holy to praise the lord with all notice god tells them when you get into that land and you plant and you start harvesting for those first three years don't eat anything from that land because to God, that place is unholy. If you eat of it, you'll be defiling yourself. But after the third day, you can, after the third year, you can eat because it will be holy unto God. You can offer it unto God. So many of you, if this scripture is talking about today's world, it means that if you went to work and you work for an unrighteous person, I'm sure your boss is not a born again Christian. If you took that money and you went and you gave it to church, you sinned. If you took that money and fed your family, you defiled yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Uh, at verse 25. Mm -hmm. And in the fifth year, you shall eat of the fruit thereof, mm -hmm. that it may yield unto you the increase thereof. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. So remember he said, I am the Lord your God. I am commanding you. Fourth year, you can offer to God. Fifth year, you can eat it. Before that, anyone who touches these fruits, you're defiling yourself. Mm -hmm. So many of you who are working jobs, after the first month, you want your paycheck and you eat it according to this verse. You have sinned. Keep reading. From verse 26. Verse 26. You shall not eat anything with the blood. You shall not eat anything with blood. Neither shall you use enchantment. You will not use enchantment, meaning witchcraft. Keep going. Nor observe times. Nor will you be horoscope person. Keep going. <laughs> you shall not round the corners of your heads. You will not cut your hair to the sides. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. And you shall not shave your beard. So every Christian that gets a haircut, you get a lineup. You are not different than a witch, than a wizard and a witch. So if you believe this scripture or read this scripture out of context, not in regards to the people in the time of Leviticus when they are being instructed according to where they are going, mm -hmm. then you have sinned. So all barber shops should be closed. Every Christian should have an afro. Mm -hmm. Stop quoting scripture out of context. Keep reading. And this is verse 28. Now. Verse 28, listen. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You will not cut yourself for dead people. Nor print any marks upon you. Nor print any marks upon you. 
I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Do you know why God told them, told them not to tattoo themselves? The culture of the people in the place they were going into used to cut themselves, mark themselves whenever their loved ones died. Even in the African culture, there are places in West Africa that observe these things. I know them. I'm African. In some African culture, when your husband dies, the women would shave their heads. Or if your wife died, your whole family would be shaved. That is what God was against. He didn't say don't cut your hair. Obviously, if he's saying that the Nazarite should have long hair, it meant that it was a custom of people to cut hair. It was a custom of people to cut their beard. So guys, let's stop this nonsense of quoting scripture out of context. Uh-huh, keep reading. Uh, Revelation 19 now? Uh, not, 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 not yet, not yet. We will we'll get to that. <laughs> Some of you don't even know. If marking your body was wrong, then Jesus having marks of nails on his hands must make him a sinner. If marking your body is wrong, why did God mark Cain with a mark on his forehead? Do you know that when you get to heaven, God will actually tattoo you? He said he will write his name on your forehead. Do you know why the devil wants to do 666? He wants to copy what God will do. So again, uh, Christians need to mature. Many of you who uh, are, are claiming uh, or condemning people, judging people, you are talking in a jurisdiction that God did not instruct you. Do you really think God cares what clothes you wear? He will, wear, he will care if you wear them in the wrong place. If you wear a bikini in church, now you're out of place. Not because it is a sin, but you're out of place. It is not the place for bikinis. You wear it at the beach. Many of you who comment these things are the same ones when they used to say, women should not wear pants. <laughs> you would have been among those people as if the Bible says women should not wear pants. Let us grow up and be mature. Let us change our ways. I am not a hypocrite. I am not one of those men of God that are hypocrites. I know who has called me. I know who called me since I was a child. I am not offended of the good like this. If righteousness can be gained through the law, then Jesus died for nothing. Do you know what that means? If you are trying to keep the Ten Commandments, Jesus died for nothing. We are not saying don't live righteous. But that is not how we receive righteousness. I'll say it again. If Christ, if righteousness can be gained through the law, then Christ died for nothing. So again, uh, I would like to apologize to absolutely nobody. I am not a hypocrite. I want tattoos, I'll get tattoos. If I want to get it on my forehead everywhere, I'm fine. As long as Jesus is not offended of it, as long as I have not offended God, I don't care. You see, Jesus said something very beautiful. He said, John the Baptist came drinking. Uh, uh, John the Baptist came. Can you find that scripture for yeah. me? Let me not butcher it and then they will say that he's quoting scriptures uh, crazy. Can you find it for me? It's the most amazing thing. A.K.A. Jesus was saying, do you? Mm -hmm. I love that verse. Did you find it? Okay, it's in Luke chapter 7. And Luke chapter 7, uh -huh. And it reads, mm -hmm. The Son of Man is come, eating and drinking, and ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans mm -hmm. and sinners. Mm -hmm. But if we read from verse 35, it was talking, of, I mean 33, it talks about John. Mm -hmm. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say, He hath a devil. So Jesus is saying, I came eating and sitting with sinners. You call me a gladness man. You called me a prosperity gospel. John came, not eating, not drinking. You said he's demon possessed. You see, one thing that I want to advise people is this. Don't live for people. Live for Jesus. When you do good, they will love you. When you do something they don't understand and it's good in God's eyes, they will still judge you. Don't live for people. This is a mistake that a lot of pastors are, are, are living by, a lot of Christians are living by. Live to please God, not man. I'll say that one more time. Live for Jesus. Don't live for men. Men want to align with their beliefs. 
They don't want to align with God's purpose. Anyone that comes to me and said, well, I wanted to listen to you, but your hair stopped me. Do you think that's a, that's a defense on judgment day? Oh, Lord, I did not listen to Pastor so-and-so because his hair did not look like what I believe. You will go straight to hell. God will send you in the fire straight. Oh, I didn't listen to Pastor so-and-so because he had tattoos on him. So you heard it from Prophet Lovey Elias that whatever you do, people will talk about it, even though they are not hearing the instruction from God. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification button for a light on our future video. God bless you. Bye.